today we'll have a tour of Addis parts of Addis and things that you might uh, like to see. And I want to start a little bit with the uh, history. I'm sure you read something before coming. So Addis is a young city compared to many capitals in the world. Uh, it's about 125 to 126 years old. Uh, what is interesting is that Addis has gone through three or four main uh, what call development phases. Original color. The original color was light beige. The gray is a new one. What's that? Uh, welcome home, Ali. Das wird nie erstaunen bleiben, das ist so ist so. Wie lange ist dem? Wie lange steht das? Ja, also etwa 30 Jahre. Okay. Höchstens. Ja. Oh, okay. Nein, nein. Wenn wir so eine Kamera in die Hand geben. All right. Uh, we'll we'll start. Welcome everybody again. So after the informal part yesterday, we start working today. Um, so what we will do is we'll do a little drawing exercise. Salom. Salom. Yeah. Hello. I like this picture. It's it's. <laughs> it was drawn wow. by Salom. My name is Zakir Johannes. Aurelia Mütlam. Kim Helmersen. Ernst Bosener. My name is Doug Roy. Hello. My name is Pablo Cavillo. My name is Salamay Tapu. Philip Staurach. Mit Kuhl de Sambet. Gut Zeget Rab. Raphael Eder. Rehiot Nasulka. Basil Bittins. Amanuel Amar. Samira Pitschke. Anheno Fkadi. Spanish Tukopoulos. Melanie Imfeld. Zara Gray. Salome Mekut. Lyndon Pierce. Katrin Lipune. Sasha Deltz. This is called the body nickel. And around <coughs> this, there is high fatality. There is about 40 deaths per year. It's, it's only deaths, let alone all the other causalities. But around this intersection, because this is the body, okay. there is a cargo here. Now, if you work on it this afternoon, try to identify what you might think could be these places, mm -hmm. and then test them when you walk tomorrow. Yeah. So this. Yeah. And this afternoon, before you go, perhaps uh, write down some questions initially that you are very interested in, and then also test whether those questions are answerable, depending on where you actually are. And those are, again, some examples. So it doesn't make sense if you have a process and you don't come up with anything. You have to come up with something. So you have to come up with something, right? Exactly, you have to come up with something. You can start whenever you want, you can finish whenever you want. Just make sure you have all the data you need. And then the next time we see you is basically only on Thursday morning. By the time we go to the site, we will identify those, the, the details and then come up with some specific issues about the safety. How do we encourage people to walk? Uh, decrease crowdedness and how do we involve street hygiene? We're gonna uh, focus on these two sites. Like we select the one at Magananya, the junction where the LIT and the, the ring road intersects. You just go, I mean, hey, hello. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. With the minibus. 
glasses? Yeah. Yeah. But they, they uh, split up into like the serving roads of the main high-speed roads. Yes, it's actually one of the biggest roundabouts in Addis. And also like the first one having LRT system like crossing it. Yeah. So we took that spot to, yeah, because we think it might be repeated somewhere else in the city. Yeah, but one is taking pictures, the other one is counting cars. Yeah, so the two of them are together. like responsible for it. Or is there more stuff we can add that, or things we can now leave away? I think we can add what we talked about yesterday, noise level. Working. Yeah, sorry. We need our team members. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, okay, okay. so, so we, we figured out like five blocks which we want to count. It's like the cars come to the roundabout. You can see how it affects the very scan of it. We can measure it. How much it is. They clean the space and it becomes like uh, it gets an informal use where you mm. seems like this shoe polishing and, mm. and street vending. All right. So we have again six things to count. Like two times cars like coming up and down, two people, pedestrians on each side, jaywalking, and the bridge itself. Based on the directions, I just count how many people are going on each direction. Okay, minibus? 10. Cars? 90. 90. Trucks? 25. Official orange buses, five. Nine. Uh, Hiker buses, ten. You ask him whether he uses the bridge or he wants to jump. And he usually jumps rather than using the city because it's really far away. This guy with the pink. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some years. Yeah, the, the neighbors, they, they make some money, they collect money and they make it cold stone or something. Yeah. That one I like. How about these street lights? Are they public or do people Political um, state because I mean yeah we talk about what um, kind of designs we could make for Addis but um, who is going to realize this? And I was really wondering like especially when we're 
when we're trying to work in a different environment, in a different cultural environment, and especially after having seen like the examples of modernism from Brasilia to Chandigarh to Fortlandia, which is also something extreme, how do we know when we should like stop or where, where we're like falsely assuming that this is what they want or this is what this country needs? Swiss are at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about half, right? Yes. No, but I took three rolls. Okay, almost done. Try to determine, okay, this was a, one of the sections, this was another one, and this was another one. So it's clear where the five goes, but otherwise. In the three goes in the three goes. People blocking the box. Due to the fact that it's everything is under construction, people tend to create their own pedestrian ways. The goal for the end of today is to come up with two problem statements for each group so that each group can separate into two. For example, if you want to be disquantitative in your describing your background, then you can say, as Basel suggests, count the number of street vendors. Not only say generally there, are, you know, it seems like there are some. That sounds like a very like a, it makes like, a lot of sense. Yeah, but when the infrastructure got built. Pedestrians we're kind of taking into account with a very narrow sidewalk, but street vendors not at all. You know? What I'm pushing you is to think in a system level. So pedestrians don't have enough space to walk because vendors are there, right? But that could not be, that may not be the relationship. When we walk like through these passes, when we feel unsafe, ah, we then okay. move on, and then okay, we just okay. come forward. Like street vendors, uh, shoe shiners, and lack of infrastructure along the way. When we go in the afternoon, it was uh, seven minutes while we were working. So right. we found out this is three, two different. Yeah. rank your criteria and then you have to decide based on that criteria the your 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 one idea before lunch <laughs> now everybody can comment here and uh, it is very exciting what they're writing there, and they can discuss it later as well um, in the whole uh, class um, to improve actually the school during the school but also the following up uh, project. This, is, this workshop is selfish because you're here to learn, you're here to enrich your own education, and that's fine. That's totally fine, and to accept that as part of the process as well. And Perhaps over a lifetime, you accumulate these experiences and finally you are able to really contribute something, but it takes time. It just takes time. <laughs> about the data visualization. I mean, maybe you could just have a look at it and tell us if that's like making sense or... Okay. Yeah, the whole goal is like to improve safety because if there are too many activities going on, it's like, how might we increase safety by 
transferring is like our core goal. And then we came up like with sub goals, which is basically yeah, what you said. Uh, how can we have self-maintaining infrastructure? Who's implementing it? So how think about how the street vendors community that you imagine should be could be organized. You know, who is taking care of the boxes? Is the box shared by three vendors? Or simple cheap approach with these blocks but then like this layout of the street yeah. like shifting this planting yeah. trees yeah. is yeah. very costly yeah. and so. these blocks this is a safety measure already yeah what is the whole intervention what are the elements of the intervention i mean it's the first of all is that we want to create market iterations and we want and we want to do that by um, in making shading on the on the overpass mm -hmm. uh, on the existing one on the existing one. And thank you so much. You guys have been so great. And being patient with us as well with um, our uh, <laughs> um, unfamiliarity with the, with the location and uh, everything. So thanks a lot. So we only have to wait for the guests. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to get you nervous. Mm. Welcome everybody to the final presentations of our um, ETH EIDC workshop, um, the student exchange workshop. Not only the team of the, of, of the teachers are multidisciplinary, but also the, the students. We have um, architects, environmental engineers, sociologists, um, um, structural planners, um, etc. So one of the main goals was first of all the transdisciplinary approach. How we can, how can we integrate the knowledge we have? And now we move out of the city center towards the so-called extension area. And uh, Doug, Eki, and, um, and Raphael will show us their research project and their results. So we focus on the street vendors, and then we just, uh, uh, based on having the background of the studies of how much spaces the street vendors need, we just propose a plot. So these plots they use like uh, for the street vendors, like to sell their uh, their goods on the sur on the top surface. So it has like it's lifted upward 50 centimeters. And this is how we visualize just conceptual. Thank you. Thank you very much for this. Uh, 91% uh, of the people that jaywalks are males. And the second here shows that um, almost all of them are under 50. But one um, element could be maybe shading, also because it gives shelter to different weather situations and also because it like kind of um, gives a feeling of enclosure and of space and we think that it might attract street vendors on the overpass yeah and therefore of course also the jaywalkers Somewhat sweet and bitter at the same time. Oh, but it's also honey wine. <laughs> 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 And I've been complaining to Bin Bin about uh, sitting up last night and doing the presentation with no electricity and no <laughs> hot water and no nothing. And I just told her, and she was like, 
Kim, that's character building. <laughs> <laughs> like it connects us and we created something. Um, what we normally do, we cut this net because this symbolizes that we're done with the workshop and we're going back to our places. One, <laughs> two, three. three. Okay.